After more than nine very long months in space, astronaut Sunny Williams got a very warm reaction when she got home from her dogs. Sunny and Butch Wilmore spent more than 28 times as many days in space as they'd originally planned. It's great that they captured that video of the reunion, of course. After returning uh, to Earth two weeks ago now, they're talking about what they missed most during their time away and what they did when they finally got home. NBC's Tom Costello has more from the Johnson Space Center in Houston. If there was ever a Hollywood ending to a long space mission, this was it. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. The astronauts, known around the world as Butch and Sonny, finally back home with fellow Crew 9 commander Nick Haig. On behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Two weeks later, feeling stable after 286 days in zero G, they say they are so happy to be home. What's the first thing? both of you wanted to do. Yeah, I wanted to hug my husband and hug my dogs. And I'll say that order in that order. <laughs> but maybe, maybe not. No, I'm just joking. Wilmore and Williams' 10-day mission turned into nearly 10 months when their Boeing Starliner spaceship developed problems. Wilmore insists everyone bears some responsibility. And I'll start with me. There were questions that I, as a commander of the spacecraft, that I should have asked, and I did not. Responsibility with Boeing? Yes. Responsibility with NASA, yes. All the way up and down the chain. We all are responsible. We all own this. Did you ever feel abandoned up there? Did you ever feel that NASA, the White House, anybody had abandoned you? Felt abandoned? No. I mean, we, we didn't, I didn't think about those type of things. I understand the, the, the rhetoric that was taking place. I understand the reason for it. Um, we did not involve ourselves in it at all. I know that they were concerned about our well-being and when we were coming home and how that was going to happen. And we just, you know, pressed on to do our job that we were, you know, trained to do. President Trump has said President Biden abandoned the astronauts and Elon Musk offered to rescue them last fall. But former NASA chief Bill Nelson, his deputy and NASA source all tell NBC News they know of no such offer. As veteran Navy pilots and astronauts, Sonny and Butch insist they prepare for the unexpected. But being away from family was hard. Butch, uh, you have two daughters. I have two daughters. And uh, I know one of them is her senior year in high school. You've right. talked a lot about that. Right. Did you have any opportunity to zoom in, to remote dial in, so you didn't miss some of those important moments Actually, in, her, in her high school senior year? Yes, we used this doxy, and I was able to go in and doxy in to a couple of her volleyball games. Nick's uh, son was in a, in a band, and they went to nationals, and they sent up video, and we all got together on the big screen and watched it together, and it was wonderful. Their first priority, once they hug their families, sleep. Gravity makes you tired, <laughs> very tired. And it was just really nice to lay down in a bed. Um, we hadn't done that for many months. What food did you miss the most when you were up on station? Sorry, two words. Chicken salad. Chicken salad. <laughs> a latte. A latte. <laughs> Nick? Fresh bread. Have you all had your cravings Absolutely. satisfied? Yes. And to quote another traveler, there is no place like home. What's it like to be home? Wonderful. Awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Earth is nice. Earth is nice. Yeah. yeah.